After such a dominant Saints Green win, we are back, and I'm joined here by Theo. Theo, what do you think in getting into this next match? I mean, it's in matchups. Oh, a very strong day by day. Uh, kind of a bit of an upset, but a very good performance. And it's going to be a highly anticipated matchup. I know that Tudor, they play with a lot of energy. If they get on the board early, they will start talking. So I think lock in and... Yeah, and we're getting close to uh, where the money is going to be decided. Whoever wins this match will be within the top four, and it's the top three that get the initial prizing here. I think $500 is for third place. So if you can win this one and do well in the next one, you're pretty much guaranteed $100, which is you don't want to be going home empty after you've played so long and so hard of this past weekend. But nonetheless, let's go back and focus in on Sudor Gaming. I mean... They're very confident. We can hear them all the way from the production room to here. They're all shouting. Very proud of their 3-0. They're going in with a lot of confidence. you got to hope that it's not overconfidence in the end. And just to go over that prizing once again, it's 3K at the top, 1K for second place, and it's a 500 for third. So I was correct for the 500. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to come out here and second oh, day. You worked so hard to get here. So both teams. Want to get this upper bracket? The longer you're able to stay at the top, the more beneficial it is for you. So I think Saints definitely feeling very confident going to this game. You know, being the pre-tournament favorites. But speaking of going into the game, we're going to be getting right in. It's going to be Saints uh, Green. It's going to be KB Rupert, Seawaz, and Kudian for Suter. It's going to be Jersey MVP Mac, Tyler Fury, and Maka. And last time we saw the Saints green team on this map, it was an absolute meat grinder for their opponents. They couldn't get through at all. But now, you know, as we get higher through the ranks, it looks like it's still going to be the case. They get a good initial kill. Rupert getting a double kill, going back and forth. Tyler Fury trying to get the team back into the swing of things on this hard point. Right now, the green team is in control, and no one's there to contest. Yeah, Saints going to have the initial hard point here as it's going to be contested finally by Suter, but the kill comes out from Kudi. He knows there's one more on this high ground. I mean, it's going to opt for the challenge here on the side. Doesn't get that kill as the trades come out left and right. Sudor st still have yet to touch this hard point. The Saints doing a great job, Kudi, in that site. It's going to get maybe a little bit more time for the Saints. But you could see the rest of the Saints setting up for the next hard point, trying to get the good spawns. Get those good spawns. And I mean, looks like they're going to be doing a pretty good job of that. Holding them off. Dancing around this room, though. It's Sudor Gaming getting shot down by Seawad, but Mac. Uh, Maka and Mac get the tag team kill there, getting three off the board, getting them right back in the swing of things. And, well, the Saints did have that hard point locked out for quite a bit. They contested it long enough that they're not too far away. They're about to close in even the score line. It looks like we're in for a very competitive hard point. Yeah, Mac had a huge flank there, found two kills, which was able to flip the spawns for the side of Sudor Gaming. And they have come out hot on this second hard point. They should be able to take the lead here, and they do. Saints off to a bit of a slow start here. That's definitely not a break they expected to happen. But you can see Sudor, they're feeling very confident after their last matchup. They're winning a lot of these initial gunfights, but there's going to be Rupert fighting a couple. Kuri finds one more. Saints going to take control of these last few seconds of this hard point, looking to tie up the game. Tie up the game, but it's not going to be tied up just yet as we get a kill right there. The Saints stretching back into the lead. They're going to get a little bit ahead, but Rupert going absolutely wild on a five killing streak. But, and the Saints are also in position to take this next hard point initially for the defense game now. So one go pass, good trigger this one. Wow, sliding across the corner, gets a kill, and his teammate has him covered. They have Sudor Gaming locked down right now. There's really no way for approach. I mean, Saints have 13 kills in a row now. Sudor just cannot find anything. Mac gonna slow that down, picks up Kudi. KB's on a five spree, looking to get some kill streaks. does get taken out. In the meantime, though, Saints gonna get a nice advantage in the scoreboard. Siwaz finds a couple of the pistol now on a five spree of his own, looking to get some kill streaks rolling that way Saints gonna get control of the hard point yet again the contest gonna come through but Jersey gonna get taken down Saints looking very very good on this P3 as Sudor having a hard time of breaking in very difficult time to break in now the scoreline 
Having a very big differential here. It's all about who gets this next one. And it might be Sudor. Might be a little bit of a back and forth situation. They're in position to take, but the Saints clean that up right away. But they need to move quickly as Sudor has the spawns right next to this next hard point. They gotta clean them out and try and flip that as soon as they can. Yeah, I mean, Sudor have the spawns, but I think Saints are finally going to be able to break through. It's only going to be Mac on this site. Let's see how Sinclair decided to attack this one. They, they do spawn out, so Sudor do a great initial job of holding this one down. Jersey does a fall down, but the respawns should be coming through. But Saints find a couple quick picks. Siwaz does fall down, but the trade does come out. Saints retake the hard point, and now they're going to have the good spawns. Looking to have the rest of this time to themselves. They have the good spawn indeed. They get the one gun kill, another one. It's looking pretty good. It's all green in the kill feed as they get a team wipe from almost out of nowhere. They're getting the scrap time. They're going to go for the rotation as well. And now the Saints have a very significant lead on their hands. Looking to break that 100 point line here on this next hard point. Yeah, Seawads and Cootie went on a little nine spree between themselves there. Cootie does get taken down. Saints getting very close to some kill streaks here, but aren't able to really get anything. Maka gonna find that kill. Almost finds the second, but the trade does come out. It is the hard point right now in control of a suit or so Saints. Struggling back on this P1 as Suter looked to get back into this game, but nice kills coming out from them there. They're going to take full control of the middle. A nice double kill there by Kuri. Will give Saints the hard point back as they continue to tag on. And right now, it's looking like Suter Gaming needs two men to take down one of St. Clair's. It's just looking oh. all green in the kill. But there it is. There's the one for ones that we needed to be seeing. Grizz and Maka and Mac clean everything up there. Get a little bit of the scrap time going, but the Saints still have a very significant lead but every point counts. Mac and Maka getting those long-range kills, even with the SMG. Yeah, I mean, Rupert definitely wants to be winning that gunfight. Will be here to support his teammate. Should be able to find this kill around the corner. Is able to do that. Pulls out the pistol, finds the second. Now Saints going to look to flip the spawns. It's only Mac left alive on this site. Saints have no idea that he's there, though, so he's going to find an initial pick. But they still have the good spawns. Points going to be captured by Suter for the time being. But I don't think this is going to last too long. The break's going to come through here. The slide's going to go in. Spots out the trophy, but does get taken down. Saints, even though they have the good spawns, they're not able to find the kills and get any time on this hard point. Nice kills coming out from Suter as they continue to climb back into the game. They're climbing back at a relatively fast rate. I mean, if they can close this one out. Will be in a very nice spot, but it looks like the Saints are trying to stop this way right in their tracks. Right now, Suwad's just running around, getting them, oh. trying to get a run around of himself, but it's not going to happen. He's ready for it every single angle. He knows where it's going to be, when it's going to be, taking a little bath. <laughs> it's not going to be very good as Tyler Fury takes him down. Yeah, Saints will get these last few seconds because see Suter is set up very well for the next hard point. It's going to be all on Rupert here and in this power position to kind of slow them down. If he can just stay alive, he has a couple members walking towards him. So the more time he stalls out here, the rest of the Saints can do a lot of work here. Rupert going to have some crucial gun challenges here. Spots out one. Isn't going to be able to find it, but his teammate is there to support him. It's still going to be Suter though on the hard point initially to get the, the points attacking. Now it's going to be Kuri. Trying to make his way onto the hard point as Saints looking to slide in, but it's kills coming in left and right for Sudor. They're going to be getting another three kills there. So they're going to get back on the hard point, getting very, very close to coming back into this game. Yeah, Sudor struggling on, but you can definitely tell they're very scrappy in the way they fight. They always come out on top. They wait and punish for any St. Clair overconfidence, any St. Clair overpositioning. But St. Clair just is winning these two gunfights that they really shouldn't be winning they are winning out these gunfights where they shoot second the reaction the accuracy from st Clair is just on point here gonna be on that point get a little bit of the scrap time hoping to run out the race that sudor is going for on the six hard point kb's looking for the player here is gonna be able to find it which is gonna give st Clair the good spawns here they're gonna get on this hard point and this is where they can really run away with this map if they can get a couple more nice team wipes here the points will continue to stack kb on 22 hp just has to be careful here and as a suitor are spraying around this corner the rest of the saints are cleaning house around the map and the point is still taking saints running away with this one 
Saints beginning a runaway with this one. Who's going to stop this runaway train? It has to be Sudor. There's no other choice. But it's looking to be very tough as they're getting so much momentum. I mean, look at Rupert. This is probably like the sixth double kill he's gotten all game. They're just getting so many multi-kills on the side of the Saints. And look at that. Sliding in, winning the day. Can he win this one last fight? Yes, he will with his team covering him. He's on a five killing spree, cleaning up this hard point and pulling the Saints into an 80 plus point lead. And Kudi has some kill streaks as well. Well, one kill away from doubling up on those. Won't be able to get a Rupert now. Gonna be able to find a kill there. KB's on a five spree himself. If he can get one more kill, that's gonna be a nice little kill streak for him. Sudor are gonna be first to this P1 though. Again, they have been on the move for this P1 a couple times now, and for the third time the third rotation they're gonna get the points stacking up as st Clair haven't done a great job of breaking in here Sudor trying to come back into this map yet again but every time they get close st Clair kind of puts the foot down see what some fancy feet does get taken down it's a two for two trade Sudor though have a lot of room to work with it's going to be Rupert finding a couple here as he's on the point and the points now continue to stack up for the saints as they get within 50 of winning the map i'm collected on that point Fights pointed towards the spawn as we switch over to Seawads on that flank of all flanks. Gets the last kill there. And back over, putting a lot of pressure. That spawns, the flips the spawns for oh. the Saints. A little bit of a run around here. Sudor trying to stay in this. KB going on the offensive, trying to track him down. Has that accuracy bow and is going for it. Gets a kill, running around, sliding. And Mac are going to shut him down. I mean, it's good play from Sudor. They get the spawns to themselves, but it's a huge flank coming out from one player there for the Saints. And let's see how they decide to play the retake. There's going to be one shot from KB. Looking for a second. Gets taken down. Seawaz is very, very close. Proximity here. Looks for that kill. Is not able to find it. As the shots come out here from one. The Saints get control of the hard point. And all of Suter fall. They're going to have a lot of time taking up here. Suter spawning all the way across the map. They're going to have... They can't finish off the map here just yet. But they can get very close to doing so. Suter are going to have to a lot of work to do to come back in this map. Sort of already putting in a lot of the work here, defending that point with their very lives, stopping them in their tracks, keeping them at bay. It's going to be flipping over once again. It's going to be a race to that hard point once again every single time. The Saints in a little bit of a tough spot. They're going to be going underground. Grizz is going to stop that right in their tracks. The Saints just need a little bit. But if Sudor plays this right, it's not all lost. Hope is still in their corner. They can get a lot of points off this hard point. Maybe put themselves back into a good position. But the Saints get a double kill. This could be the opening they need. He's pushing in, going prone, waiting. Can he get this kill? He does. That might have been it. That might be what wins St. Clair the game here. Maka and Maka get two. Cootie sees get one. Maka gets one right back. Suter are gaming, fighting for their very lives on this point. They need this now more than ever. But the Saints not able to close it out just yet. We're just trading back and forth. You can definitely tell the Saints are looking anxious. Yeah, I mean, Saints know they don't have to finish off the map here. They can give the remaining of this time because... More than six seconds left. They won't be able to close it out. But if they win all these gun challenges, now they can close it out. If nobody from Sudor touches this point, that will be the map going to the Saints. And that is going to be the case. A very good map from both teams. But St. Clair oh. Green are going to take the victory. And they go up 1-0 in the series. I think there's some heat out there on <laughs> the, 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 stage. the stage. Definitely uh, heard uh, Sudor Gaming initially... Talking a lot of talk and uh, not walking enough of the walk, I think, for this really valuable thing I had to say there. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a great map from the St. Clair. You know, Sudor did put up a really good fight, though. I mean, considering the St. Uh, St. Clair Saints green and roster's main uh, main strong point is their respawn game. With the fact that Sudor was able to get 182, that's a lot better than a lot of teams can do. So, I mean, it's a great uh, first map, but... Now we're going to be heading into Search and Destroy. As last time I saw Saints Green play was yesterday, and they had a very close map. It was 6-4. to four. You saw their match earlier today. How did their Search and Destroy look? Oh, they looked very clean. It looks like they cleaned it up quite a bit from the last few times I've seen. I haven't seen Sudor Gaming play myself particularly just yet, but I have a feeling this is going to be one heck of a competitive game. This is always the one that really slows it down, really sets the momentum for the rest of the match. And Definitely tell there's some a lot of tension here. 
this match. That's what Codlands are all about. Both teams can just look right over. They can hear the colors. They can hear the size. They can hear anything the enemy team is saying about them. That just to the next level. So I don't think the Saints are going to let off the gas here. They're not going to relax one bit. They want to crush Scooter Gaming if they can. Yeah, I mean, Search and Destroy is a completely different game mode. It's way slower paced than the hard point. So it's going to be interesting to see how each team plays. You know, after every round, you have a time to refocus, recoup, go about your plan. So it's gonna be it's gonna be very very interesting a map here. Saints, as we said, probably the favorites. But with how Sudo are played, I wouldn't be too too shocked if this is a very close map. Yeah, I really wouldn't be very shocked if they did end up taking this one. I think it's gonna be close. This is not gonna be a blowout of any sort going into this search and destroy. But when you get down to brass tacks here. I think it could easily flip for Sudor Gaming. It's all about the momentum. As soon as you start winning those rounds, that really sets the pace. The enemy team starts to get antsy. You might not go for the plays you usually would. It's all about maintaining that mentality. And I think that's part of Sudor Gaming's uh, goal here. Is to try and break the Saints mentality. Maybe get a little over-aggression from them by, by kind of antagonizing them out of the game as well. But either way, I think this is going to be one heck of a search and Boy. Yeah, I mean, Saints, uh, we're going to be loading. It's going to be on a rewind. rewind. You know, we saw this map a couple times already, and it's a very, uh, very good map for attackers to push into that A site. It's very easy to get in, and it's easy to play the post plant. On the defensive side, we saw a couple times some big flanks coming out, which is going to be needed if... If uh, either attacking team just rushes into A, you need someone on the flank to shoot them in the back. It's going to be, from the look of things, Saints on the attack, Sudor on the defense as we are underway in round one. Are underway. St. Clair Green initially has the bomb, Sudor Gaming. Very difficult. One thing about the Saints. Hard to pick down. One goes. Your path, trying to break their way on through. That is sight. In Asura are really committing that uh, outdoor uh, stoppage. Yeah. They want to play the retake that inner sight. I mean, it's a very very slow first round. Not something you see too often on this map from attacking. Sides, you see now they're starting to make their way into the middle, and I think GRZ might have spotted out Goody, but the plant is going to be going down for the Saints. If they can get this one down, I mean, the 44 post plant is going to be definitely in their favor. 40 seconds and ticking as the pushes come through. Goody is able to find the initial kill onto Tyler Fury, but nice shot there from Mac. That's a nice spot I haven't seen before. Picks up the kill onto Rupert. Goody's going to get taken down to 1 HP and gets taken down as well. Now it's going to be a 2v3 for the side of the Saints, but a nice trade comes out from Siwaz. He's going to be looking for one more, but is in a 1v2 situation. Gets taken down. Now it's all going to be on Rupert. Can he find a kill around this corner? He's not going to be able to find it. There is nobody on the defuse just yet. Now there's a player defusing. Can he find any kills? No. It's going to be Mac with the pistol and Sudor on the defense in the post plant are able to find the first round. They'll find the first round in a major way as well. I mean, the Saints, they surely got the bomb down, but it was all Sudor's plan. They laid in wait and struck. Once that bomb was down, the Saints fell apart. Yeah, that was definitely Saints. A good chance for them to win that round. 4v4. It was a 2v2 at one point in the post plant. I feel like if Seawad ran away instead of re-peaking that 2v1, would have definitely made it a winnable round for the Saints. But maybe a slight mistake. Now Sudor are going to be the ones with the advantage. And they are on the attack. Let's see how they decide to play this one. They're going to rush into this A site. But going to be playing it slow as well. They could go towards this B site. But it's also very hard to get the plant down there. As Saints have a lot of defense on that side of the map. And you can see all the way on the flank is KB. Making sure no one can over rotate. But yeah. the shots from GRZ going to do a bit of damage. They know that KB is there now. Which could lead to an attack on the B site. But no. Looks like they're going to rotate all the way over. And they're going to look to get rid of this flank. Get rid of this flank, trying to break their way in on through here. Now, not looking very good right now. It's a standstill for Super Game. You can't find a good angle. And I mean, what is a good angle at this point? The Saints have almost every angle covered indoors, outdoors, up, down, all around. Looks like it's going to be going 
up the backside. So they have them. They're routing the enemy, getting two. Bomb trapped in there. Goes for the concuss. Goes for the Ooh. pistol shot. And he gets it. That's going to be Seawads <laughs> making sure he's dead. And I mean, you never know with all the perks in these games. Maka going to be going down. Saints green. Yeah, some a bit extra insurance there from the Seawads. The Saints able to take their first round of the map. It's going to be tied up at one apiece. So both teams can't get the initial attacking round to go. I'm expecting in the second round... Saints Green on the attack are going to be playing a lot more aggressive. They're going to look to get this spike, try and plant it down, and make Suter play, uh, make another play on the defense. Play another one on the defense. And it's going to be very, very tough, as I think the defense is the more preferred game mode from what we've seen so far. But I think if anyone's going to break it, it's going to be the Saints. I think it's all going to be trial and error until they find the right strat breakthrough i think this the sides have been flipping each time as well every two rounds so this side is a little bit better on the back yeah jersey gonna get taken down initially as st Clair have made their way into this ace i see wads gonna get a bit too aggressive there if he's just able to stay alive saints will maintain their 4v3 advantage you can see all the way in spawn is ruper sitting there the plant does go down and saints have beautiful positioning on the inside of this point it's gonna be unsuited to try and break through just gonna keep it going. I mean, look at that. Big flank coming up from Sudor, but I think Seawads and the team have it covered. Wow, he turns around, sees it. It's all chaos here on the point. Hiding behind the stuffies and the boxes. KB gonna dive in while he just waits for his team. They get everything they need and more, and that's gonna give him over the round. A nice, clean attacking round there from the side of St. Clair. They get the initial pick, they get the plant down, they find the flanker, and it just makes it so, so easy. But now we're going to be heading into Sudor's attack round. I think if they want to keep up with the Saints in this map, they need to play a similar sort of game. They need to try and get this bomb down as soon as possible to, give them, to put the pressure on the Saints and make sure St. Clair are the ones who have to make the game-winning plays. Have to make those plays or else it's... Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'm wondering what happened there. You have no idea. Oh, probably a tech issue. Don't think Sudor would FF at this point, especially with no, how not uh, invested they are in this game. But nevertheless, it's not going to be going for a couple seconds here yeah i think the game might have crashed there's the word we are getting so yeah very very unfortunate that it happened but but it's gonna give both teams a bit of time to recoup rethink about how the match is going so far you know st Clair are up 1-0 and the, they're gonna when they get back in the map it's gonna be 2-1 for st Clair. it's gonna be sudor on the attack and you know we were talking about it sudor are giving the saints a run for their money on the search and destroy i mean they already won around on the defense and now on the attack i think they, they just need to play with a bit more aggression try and get that plant down which is going to give them a big chance of winning definitely it's all about those attacking rounds i think going at this pace that attacking round left and right i think they are set to win it swimming being the winners but it's going to fight ahead i don't know if the saints can shore up their defense if they can get at least one or two of rounds in here i think they have this one in the bag yeah i mean and on the attack they they always leave a person on the flank from look of things and there seems to be kb he just sits in the back of the map and makes sure that there's no flank coming through it worked out for them on their last attacking round if saints can keep that up in their attacking rounds and get the initial pick get the plant down i mean it's going to be very very hard for their opponents to find anything but it's that being said kind of works for both sides if st Clair are looking for their flanks and there's a uh, there's a flank watcher. It could get dangerous for them. So I think St. Clair on the defense, if they can just play compact inside that A site and not allow anything to break through, getting to that B site, just a little bit too hard. I wholeheartedly agree. But I think we have to keep in mind the mentality aspect to it. Especially if you're so tense going into a game like this, the crashes, if you start, that's going to affect things majorly. Any momentum we had in that last game for St. Clair is going to be gone. It might still be there a little bit, Points wise, you might feel like you can be more, but the, the moment to moment emotions are not going to be there. The dialed in focus that we 
that is going to be broken. So now I think Sudor might even have an even bigger advantage going in after this little lobby crash. Yeah, I mean, a composure is definitely going to be needed from both sides. You know, St. Clair have proven over the years that they are there. Now it's going to be Suter's, Suter's role to really show out why they are here and why they are here to play. You know, as we spoke already, this is, this is a big match. It puts you into top four almost in that prize money. So both teams looking looking to win this one. But it's going to be... It's going to be Hard for Sudor to come back with uh, the way the Saints have been playing so far. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to come back. I mean, Sudor is coming out swinging. They have a lot on the line here. I know they want to win that now more than anyone else. You're just so close to that top prizing pool. And St. Clair has that reputation to uphold as well. They have more on the line than just money. I mean, money's not. Everybody <laughs> likes money. We all like money. But they have a lot riding on this as well. This is kind of their home turf this is their nexus here <laughs> they yeah. have a lot they got to defend yeah i mean they definitely want to be victorious in this tournament i don't think anything other than first place is uh, acceptable for anyone on the team and you know i spoke to a couple of the players so and they felt very confident they said we should we should win here if we don't win we, that would be definitely something they're not happy about so i think saints are mentally locked in and they're ready to go I think they are. They're very determined. They're very locked in. And if I've talked to any of those guys, I know that they are ready. For it. And the goal team really pushed each other to their limits in yeah. that last game. I mean, sure, it was a green Rio, but nevertheless, those were some close games. Yeah, and we can talk about the goal team for a little bit as well. They are also one of the stronger teams here at this land, you know. Uh, both the Saints teams matched up in the first round, but it is double elimination, so they are still uh, still alive and kicking. And I spoke to a couple of players there. They're also feeling very confident. Uh, I spoke to a couple of green players. They said they would not be surprised to see the gold team in the finals, and that would be a pretty exciting matchup for both teams. That would be a very exciting <laughs> matchup as well if we get another run-through of that. Gotta say, though, with how... It was a 3-0 at the end. It could have switched up a little bit, but I'd still have to give the, the leverage over the St. Clair Green. But never mind. It looks like the map, a little bit of an update, is going to be... Uh, third map is going to be Vault on Control. So that one's going to be quite interesting. Vault a few times already. Vault a very um, volatile map. Yeah, I mean, Control has definitely been... A strong suit for the green team. I mean, they did do a great, great job on that map. Every time they do play it, as it looks like we're going to be loading back into the search and destroy game. Should be a 2-1 lead uh, for St. Clair. I'm not sure if this is going to just be straight up from 0-0. They're going to play like it's 2-1 or if it's just going to be a couple rounds quickly going over each way to make Sure, it is all fair. It's going to be 0 0, so let's take a look at how this is going to be played out. I think it's a 2 1 lead for St. Clair from the look of things, and it's going to be them on the attack, Sudor on defense. Maybe the map just fully restarted. I haven't yeah, gotten too much word on that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was a bigger lobby issue than we noticed because it seemed like it was running well the first two. But they do have to try and get back the points to where they were going to be pretty tough. I think that was supposed to be done potentially in the podcast. Yeah, Cody going to find a kill there as Saints have the numbers advantage here. Let's see how they decide to play the rest of this round. On defense, Maka going to go for a push, but there's one right next to him. That's going to be a 3v1 situation all up to GRZ MVP to win this one out for Sudor. As St. Clair starting this restart off hot they are looking good they have the bomb down in alley and i mean it's going to be so hard for jersey to find anything he goes for the swing gets a spotted out and gonna take some shots stay alive for the time being but there's a nice nade saints gonna take that round as now they go wow. up three rounds to one i know it only says one zero up here but they are saints green is up three rounds to one after that so one. once we hit that four score line that's what saints need to hit and can pseudo gaming needing that five score line so saints not a lot of ground left to cover i mean just a few more rounds will spell them the win so it's looking good yeah and we're gonna be up three rounds to one so just three more for St. four rounds now. 
Four rounds? Four rounds? No, it's three, it's three to one oh, after okay, that one. Right. It was two no, one. one. We just won. There we go. There yeah, we go. You're correct. Just won. You're correct. Three to one. You need to hit the four. <laughs> exactly. They need to keep the ball rolling. But now it's going to be the attack coming through. And it's going to be a B push. Not something we've seen so far. And it's going to be St. Clair finding the initial kill. Are they going to get the, ba the bomb down there? It looks like that's going to be the case. A great, great start yet again to the attacking round for them. Asudor need to find the retake here. They're going to be looking... Or something, Mac, trying to find the opening kill. But you could see St. Clair, they're spread out all around the map. They're all just holding down these angles. There's going to be oh, a team, team kill. kill coming through there. That is super unfortunate for Sudor, which puts them in a 2v4 situation. Mac going to look for something. See what's picks up Tyler Fury. It's going to be a one on four. Mac does find one, but on 9 HP and 17 seconds and ticking, it's going to be nearly impossible to win this round. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much impossible. Mac goes down, and now Sudor feeling relatively you're probably very stressed, actually. Yeah. I was going to say relatively stressed, but if you're very stressed, just two more rounds came between them and St. Clair College, and they're really not keeping pace here. They're, they're down. They only have one point on the scoreboard. They need five. St. Clair only needs two. Yeah, I mean... If that my math is math, and that's, that's a bigger difference than it's, <laughs> it seems. Yeah, I mean, that crash probably puts Sudor in just not the best spot mentally. St. Clair, you know, they've been through this before. They've seen it happen, and they were, they were ready for anything to happen and after a quick pause they were able to stay mentally locked in and these last few rounds have been brilliant from the side of the saints as Siwaz finds an opening kill rupert finds a second you can see sudor just kind of falling apart here saint Clair are turning up the pressure rupert in the 1v2 is going to be able to slip away but well, does he have any help coming up from his team going to get a bit too aggressive there it's going to be actually Siwaz falling down 3-4 scenario sudor still have a chance but there's going to be a lot of work needed on this attack yeah scenario sudor up on actually gonna be there up on that wall Sudor bit of an interesting play they're holding this mid building want to try and lure St. Clair out they want to get the bomb get a one for one but you're already down a man it's a 1v2 situation for Tyler Fury he does have bomb in hand it's not all lost just yet but it's certainly not looking good yeah, it's a 1v2 here, and the shots come through, finds the first, 9 HP, able to stay alive for the time being, is going to be able to find the shots, ring around the rosary on the car, and the kill comes through from the Saints, they find the clutch, and they go up 5 rounds to 1, putting themselves on my point. Seawads, some shaky shots there with the pistol. Luckily, only needed one bullet to find that round ending kill. St. Clair 5, Pseudo Gaming 1. This is not looking good if you're a Sudor game. And they played hard. They brought themselves all the way to here. It's looking like St. Clair might take one in a relatively sweeping fashion. All they need is one more round. They are on the attack this time. Yeah, they look good on the attack so far. Let's see what they decide to do here. That's going to be some shots coming out. Nice, sh nice kill from Mac onto Kudi. It's a great start to the round for Sudor Gaming, but Seawads in instantly finds a trade back onto Mac, making it a 3v3 scenario. It looks like St. Clair be playing this one relatively slowly. They have a member all the way in the back. Looks like that's going to be Ruper just waiting for a flank, but it doesn't look like Sudor are going to get too, too aggressive as in this close corner combat. Let's see how the trades are going to come through. Seawads is looking in here maybe looks around oh spots out a player and that's gonna be a nice shot there cootie picking that one up gives saints a three on two advantage advantage up here on the top line trying to hold the line hold together for the team got 30 seconds remaining it's a two vision it's not unwinnable but it's gonna be very tough time is ticking bomb is going to be planted and now saint Clair putting the pressure on and this flank at the top that's come out from, uh, I think it is Ruper, gonna find some shots into the middle. And there's, it's actually gonna be Seawads on that flank, picks up one. And now it's gonna be Maka stuck in the 1v3 scenario. 
needs to find this round to keep his team in this map. Otherwise, it's going to be St. Clair College Green taking this one 6-1. to one. Maka spots one now, but gets spot out as well as they're just toying with him here, running for their lives as they know exactly where this player is. Looking to get this final kill and close out the map. I don't know if they're going to be able to find it, but with the clock ticking down, down, five seconds left. The defuse definitely won't be coming through. The melee going to come through for the map ending kill. And it's going to be St. Clair College Green dominating Sudor. And they take this map 6-1. to one. A 6 to 1, absolute domination from St. Clair College Green. <laughs> and I mean, final kill being a melee kill as well. You can definitely feel there's some comfort here in St. Clair College Green. They're playing very comfortably, very confidently. They took that one with open arms. Yeah, I mean, the players are loaded in, but as you see, the map will be completed. St. Clair College 6-1, to one, as we're going to be headed to control St. Clair College Green up 2-0. to zero. So they're looking very, very good, and heading into control, I think they have all the momentum. I think they have all the momentum. I think this might be a 3-0. I'll say it again if you're not sure. This might be a 3-0 for St. Clair College Green. But nevertheless... We're going to take a quick break, get everything in order for the potentially final match here between Sudor Gaming and College Green. Let's see how it all wraps up.
Welcome back everybody, we are underway in map 3, St. Clair College Green against Sudor Gaming. It's going to be Control and we are going back to the map that started this series. It's going to be a good start for St. Clair. There's going to be a couple kills traded back and forth, but a nice flank here coming out. Not going to be able to find anything as it's going to be one dropping in, able to get the kill. It's going to be Sudor on the attack, St. Clair on the defense. St. Clair holding that defense strong, keeping everything nice. And wait for themselves, keeping everything locked down. These corridors, you can't slip through. It is so crazy. It's locked down completely. There's no way through. You'd have to have the thread, the needle. It's crazy right now. It's all chaos on the board. Yeah, St. Clair finding kills left and right, but Sudor doing a great job of getting into that middle point. Rupert looking to find the kills, doesn't find it, gets traded out, and it's going to be a lot of progress here for Sudor as they look to capture the middle control point. It looks like they will be able to do so. Saint's gonna give it one more final push, but it's going to be point A secured, but on this map, point B is really the big, big challenge with the good spawns for the defense. You're gonna need to definitely send in a flanker if you're on side of Sudor. Yeah, if I know Sudor, they're good at flanking. If there's anything they're good at, it's all about the flanks. I mean, look at that already deep in the spot. And that's going to be Tyler Fury along with Naka just holding it down, manipulating those spawns. They still can't break through. Rupert and Seawatts have a lockdown. And KB is on a five spree, but does get taken down. So won't have anything ready to use here. Kudi going to be moving through the middle. Very dangerous position. The nade's going to come through. Won't find anything. I mean, Sudor are making a bit of a ground, but way in the enemy territories around the Seawatts. They're able to stay alive, which is crucial. Kills coming in still for the Saints, and only 11 lives left for Sudor. It's going to be quite a miracle needed for them to come back into this round. Yeah, sure, they got that first one. They still have a minute to get the second one, but lives are an issue for sure. They're taking down Saints, just getting these trades now, and they very well can. Yeah, and it's going to be them on the point. The shots are going to come through from under that truck, though. Nowhere you can hide on this control. Nine lives left. There's a couple, couple kills going to be coming in from Seawatts. Who's going to find that trade on to Mac? I mean, GRZ is up in a pretty decent position, but with only six lives left. I mean, Sudor, yeah, they have a good amount of time to work with, but they just cannot be getting outgunned like this if they want to win this map. No respawns remaining. Kudi drops right on top of a player, does fall down. 25 seconds in ticking. Sudor have one final push left. Every death is going to be their final death of the round, so they have to play very, very, very carefully. And a couple kills going to come through for St. Clair. Now it's a 2v4 scenario with 10 seconds to go. Just no way for Suter to get anywhere near this point. They're going to give it one final push. Maka's going to find a kill. They need to get inside of this one. They find a couple, but it's going to be all up to Tyler Fury. Does go down. St. Clair College win the first round of control by elimination. Yeah, they win by elimination, but that's not really how you want to win. You want to try and run out the clock. I mean, if you can go for these skills, you should especially when they get that first point keep farming and making it as expensive as you can get but you really don't want them to get through that first point i mean the first point is usually the hardest one to defend a is it's in the middle of the map so both teams have a even chance of contesting it and Suter came out on top but st Clair know that they have that b site to play around you saw how solid that defense was i mean Suter got onto it for maybe two three seconds and now on the attack, if St. Clair can pick up this round and go with a quick, quick attack, I mean, they're going to be putting themselves in a prime position to go to top four. Top four within sight for St. Clair. A 3-0 also within sight against Sudor Gaming. Cootie season finding one. Seawads finds another. There is going to take down one. The Saints coming out on top in terms of kills. They're not getting progress on the point just yet, but it looks like they are going to keep on defending these points. Yeah, and a deep, deep flank from Seawads looking to start off the attack onto the B side early. Ruper is deep in enemy territory, and he's going to be causing absolute havoc here. Spots uh, one. Going to try and run out. There's going to be shots coming into the back of Rupert, which is going to give St. Clair a bit more pressure on the B side, actually. You can see they've completely abandoned attacking the A side because they know the B side is definitely the harder one to capture. Kudi going to find one and find the trade is St. Clair is trying to maintain their pressure on this B side. I mean, if they capture this one, it would be huge. They get a bit more progress there. Half a way. nice swing, though, from Tyler Fury. Picks up one, clears out that side. But in the meantime, St. Clair is still getting a lot of positions, good positions around the map. Yeah, they got a good chunk of progress over on that 
uh, B point. They do. I think they got a third or a little over a third. Couldn't quite that, get that second third there. But now on this middle site, that's the one they got to take, and it's going to be tough. I think they went in with a very interesting plan here, but it's not quite working out the way they need it to as Tyler Fury, Mac, and Maka get a triple kill. That's a huge swing of kills here, but somehow in the back lines, Rupert has been here the entire time, and he's going to get a huge power position up top here. Let's see how Saints side to attack this one. A good play from Sudor, however, to go all the way up the map and stop Saints from pushing through. I mean, in this back line, Rupert caused such chaos. It's going to be Saints getting finally a bit more control on this A side. They need to capture this one because we only have 25 seconds to go. Only have 25 seconds. You need that little chunk of time to try and flip over that B side. It's a little bit too hard to go for first. They make good progress progress over on A. They're oh. going to have to abandon it, though, as Mac and Tyler Fury flood in onto the site. Saints are still up alive, though, so if they can take this one, they'll be in a very good position, but it's all about capping this next point. And, and Rupert gets the double kill along with his teammate there. It's looking very, very good. They're making good progress. I feel like they're two-thirds of the way there at this point. Three-thirds, maybe, at this point. And it's going to be so close to them capping it here. But will it come through? It's one more on Sudor, but he goes down, and they get a sight. And they're up so many lives. They already have progress on P. This is looking to be a wrap. Yeah, it's looking to be a wrap. Only six lives left, and they're getting a lot of progress on this B side. A couple more kills come through in the back line. Nice shots from Seawads, and it's going to be a great attacking round from St. Clair. Yes, they only had like 25 seconds to capture that A side, but once they did, once they're up so much on lives, they capture the B side. They take the round. They put themselves on map point and on map. Match point. And something I like to point out here is we're seeing the Saints be pushed to bring out some of these tactics that I think they've been saving, you know. First time we saw control on this map, they didn't go for that B site cap first. They didn't go for such um, flanky plays. But now, as they're being pushed, as Sudor Gaming is starting to wake up to these the way they're playing, it's getting more and more intense. It's getting closer and closer. Sinclair has to pull out some of these special tricks. Yeah, and the defense, definitely the favorite side here. St. Clair are put themselves in a prime, prime position to take this map. The nade from Rupert is going to find the initial kill. That's a great start to the round for St. Clair. But it is Sudor with a good amount of members up in this A site. They're going to try and take this one very, very quickly. But St. Clair on the high grounds, on the flanks, going to be able to find every kill needed. Maka gives away his position a little bit too early. Going to get taken down. And it's nice kills from the Saints. They get a clean wipe onto Sudor. It's another great start to the defense. I love the angle the Saints have on catwalk. It's just like shooting fish in a barrel at that point. They're all just congregating in that little fishbowl shape over on A. And once you have the high ground, it's just easy pickings from then on. And it's easy pickings for QDCs, and he's on that five. Killing spree. Kyler Fury gonna try and shut that one right down. And right now, they are making progress over on A. They're making a good amount of progress. The Saints also kind of tied with them in terms of lives, even though it seems like their Saints are getting more multi kills. It's being traded out every single time by Sudor Gaming. There it is. Saints just barely in the lead in terms of lives. 43 or 40 seconds left on the clock for Sudor Gaming to get a cap. Yeah, Sudor have been trying really hard to get onto this A site and still not too much progress made. It's all green in the kill feed. Now the lives are starting to separate a little bit. Saints up seven and in the enemy spawn is Rupert yet again. Finds one. He can pick up one more. It would be insanity. No, does not, is not able to find the one, but stalls out so much time. And this is such a great power position here from, from a member of the Saints. Finds one kill and the deeper into enemy spawn they are, the better. But it's going to be a B push coming out here from the side of Sudor Gaming. That's a very dangerous play but they have a couple members on a a huge flank though coming out from the backside gonna be able to find one on that a site can they contest this a site in time a bit more progress captured one more member left alive for the side of Sudor gaming and they're gonna be able to spot him out that's gonna be a kill coming through and with only seven seconds and ticking i don't know if Sudor will have enough time to even get near either wow. of these sides. it's all green in the kill feed as the map will <laughs> close out i think there might have been some disconnects coming through there but st Clair college green take the series 3-0 to zero in very, very dominant fashion. Very dominant fashion indeed. I mean, that is a 3-0. We'll say it again for the folks at home. That is a 3-0 
from the Saints against Sudor Gaming. They won it. Respect all around. Fist bumps all around. I think there's a little bit of tension going into that match, but it's just respect earned at the end of the day. Both teams played very, very well, but St. Clair definitely declared their dominance there. Yeah, now St. Clair Green in top four position put themselves in a great, great spot to win this tournament. You know, as the favorites, they've done everything they needed so far to put themselves at the, in a position to win, and I think they're not looking to slow down anytime soon. You know, they did everything they needed and more. They put themselves in a top four position at this point. It's only up from here if they win their next game. Even if they do very well, they're going to be in that third place prizing, and it's going to be very, very exciting. But nevertheless, I think that's all I have to say for today, so I'm going to make my close out. But Theo, you're going to be going into the next game. What are you What are you excited for in the next game? I just want to see a lot of a good Call of Duty. I mean, St. Clair Green, they are definitely the favorites. I just want to see another team that can really step up and put on the pressure on them. So it's going to be interesting to see. Saints Green won't be playing for a while now. They have some time off, but we're going to be covering the loser bracket coming up after this. So it's going to be the teams that maybe struggle a little bit, giving themselves a chance to push them, make a final push for the top three position and try and get that into that prize money. Let's see if they can push on through. With all that being said, everybody, don't go anywhere. We're going to throw it over to a very quick break, go to the bathroom, get some snacks, and have a good time and settle in because it's going to be a doozy coming up.